Hello, everybody. I am going to show you. Let me get logged in here. I'm going to show you how to do these. Now, I did these last night. Um, Kelly Snow's Facebook group. And I wanted to bring you guys back on. That way you have some idea of what you're doing. <clears throat> you know, because I know some of you wanted to um, repeat it. And I'm sideways, so let me turn my camera and see what happens here if I turn it this way. Sorry. Is that better? I think so. Yeah. Okay, this is what we're going to make. These are made from safety pins. I have two browns here. They're just made with safety pins, wire, um, eyelash trim, and some lace. Here's the blue ones. Here's the purple ones. And then here's the pink ones. So I'm going to show you how to make these. Now I also have these <clears throat> in my shop where the ones that are they're already made. And I'll show you that, show you that at the end and I also have the kits to where you can purchase the stuff to make your own. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to need I like 20 gauge wire. I think it works the best. You're going to need some safety pins. Your fun fur. You're going to need some lace. You'll need some beads. You're going to need some jumper and some jump rings. And you also need some glue. And then some tools. You need some needle nose pliers. Some round ones, your cutters, and a pair of tweezers. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a brown one. And you need some lace. And you don't need much. Just a little bit. And you're going to wrap this around. And then you're going to put just a little bit of glue. And I don't think my glue is cooperating with me. Oh, there we go. Gotta clean it off. And then you gotta hold, just hold it there for a second. Hold on, I'm gonna clean the tip of this off. Cause this is... Clean that tip off. Just hold it there for a second. And then you're gonna take it <clears throat> and just wrap it around your safety pin. Now you don't want to come above this or come above your little hole in the bottom. You just want to wrap it around because by the time you put the fun fur on this or eyelash trim whatever it's called um, you won't see this lace. Come on. And then you're going to put just a little bit more glue and wrap it around. And just hold it there for just a second. And the f one thing I did forget to do, and I always forget to do this step until the end, you, where your safety pin, where the safety pin comes out of, that little piece there, you want to take your round needle needle in those players, and just kind of bend it just a little bit, not a whole lot, just enough to, because I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay, let's take some, then we're going to take our fun fur, eyelash gem, and your tweezers, 
and you're gonna stick that right there and it's easier to use the tweezers to try to get it through you're just gonna hook it on there and pull it through and then you just want to double knot knot it <clears throat> that's what you want to do Now you can cut this off, but I don't because I don't like to waste anything. So you just, I just wrap it around. And then you take this piece and you just wrap it around from bottom to top. And then we're going to put just a little piece of glue there. I'm going to cut the excess off. Just kind of hold it, kind of hold it there for a second. And that's how you do that. Now let's get a piece of wire. Next is our wire. <clears throat> You're going to take your needle nose pliers. And you want it to be flat. You don't want to be able to feel that. And with your wrist, you're just going to go in a circle. And then you're going to pull out, stick it back in there, and twist it with your wrist. Not your arm, your wrist. And then I like taking the flat nose, kind of squeezing it a little bit to smash it up. Okay. Now I take your needle nose again. And you're going to stick it right where <clears throat> you stopped with the white, with your circles. You're going to bend it to the left. You're going to pull out, come back, bend it to the right, pull out, put your needle nose back in there, go to the left. Oops, I twisted it. Go into the left, pull out, and then straight up. And don't worry if it's a little wonky because we'll be getting it. Um, you can straighten it up. Now we're gonna do our wires. I'm doing brown, ain't I? Wires, our beads. And you can use any kind of beads you want. Hello, Carrie Ann. And then you're going to put your wire, your beads on. Take your safety pin. And you want to go from the front in that hole down there. You want to go from front to back. And push it all the way down to your beads. Pinch it here. <clears throat> and then you want to just start wrapping your wire. Now, if you got get up to the top here, like... I am now and you got too much wire just wrap it some more because I don't like to waste my wire and then you're gonna come back and I know it's hard to see <clears throat> my sinuses are draining today guys and you got some that's overlapping so you're gonna cut that but make sure you cut it away from you because that little piece can go flying and then you're gonna Tuck it in where that needle is, goes in at. And sometimes you got to use your players. And it's kind of hard sometimes. And then once I get it in there, I squeeze it. And then you can come back and mess with your little wire, you know, your beads down here and your little. Roundy belt thingy. And then we're going to do your jump ring. It's the last thing you're going to do. Now when you do a jump ring, if you've never used it before, you twist it open. You never pull it apart because it loosens the strength of the um, your jump ring. 
And then you're just going to put it back in place. And I hope you guys can see this. I really do. And there you go. We're going to do one more to help you guys out. <clears throat> you can use these on tags, um, paper clips, tassels, whatever. First thing you're going to do, which I always forget to do, is always bend this just a little bit. Now, here is some purple lace and it's way too wide. So all I do is I just cut it in half and cut a piece off. And then in, again, you're gonna wrap just a little piece around your, um, your safety pin and put some glue there if it'll come out and just hold it there for just a second I got way too much glue I was complaining it wasn't coming out and then it comes out with way too much glue just wipe out my shirt and then you're just gonna wrap that lace around your safety pin Stick into everything. I'm going to cut that just a little bit. And then you're going to put just a tad more glue and wrap it around and hold it there for just a second. I got glue all over my fingers and stick into everything. Okay, now we're going to take our fun fur. Take your tweezers and pull it right through your safety pin and pull this through. Double knot it. Double knot it. You can cut this off, but I don't. And I just wrap it. And then I'm going to take the rest of it and just wrap it around. And then you're going to put just a little bit of glue there. And wrap this. And glue it down. Then you get your piece of wire. And this is all I got on this row. I'm not going to cut it. I'll use it. But I do have to cut this end off. You're going to take your needle no nose pliers. Your round pliers, I should say. And you don't want to feel that. And you want to twist it with your wrist. Pull out. And keep twisting. I do it four or five times, sometimes more, sometimes less. And then I like to squeeze mine. And then where you that your little roundy thing comes to the wire, yeah. You're gonna bend it to the left. Bend it to the right. Bend it to the left again, and then bend it straight up. Again, don't worry about it if it's wonky down here, because we'll fix it. You can easily fix it. And I'm doing purple. And where's my purple beads? Oh, right here. So you're going to put your beads on. And you're going to go from, let me see, from the front 
to the back. And you're going to slide that in there all the way up to that bead. You're going to pinch it and just start wrapping. Now you can add um, seed beads to your wire if you want. That, you know, gives it even some more little oomph. And then when I get up to the top, I have just a little bit left. I'm going to cut that off, but like I said, point it away from you. Because they do go flying sometimes, not all the time. And then I stick that piece of wire in there. Actually, the wire is too long. I stick that piece of wire right where the pin is at. And it's hard to see with the fun fur or eyelash trim. Stick that neat little end of that in there and I squeeze it. And then I just come back and mess with the bottom of it. And then the last step is to put your jump ring on. And I put my jump ring on and close it up. And there you go. Okay, so in my shop, I'll pick some of this up a little bit. In my shop, I have, they're going to come in this little organza bag. You're going to get eight of them that are already done. You get two blue, two pink, two purple, two brown. So here's, now they do vary. So don't expect, when you look at the picture, you might get the same exact thing. It just, I made a whole bunch of them up and, and you know, you run out of beads and stuff, but you will get, like I said, two blue, you get two pink, you're gonna get two purple, and then you're gonna get two brown. And it's, these are the finished ones. And then I have it, well, let me, no, I'm gonna leave that, leave it all so. And then you can buy the kit where you can make them yourself. And again, they're gonna come in this little organza bag. The only thing I don't have in here is the wire. And you're gonna get all your lace and fun fur. You're gonna get all your beads. You're gonna get your pins and you're gonna get your wire. So these are, so you got the ones that are done and the ones that you can make yourself. These are in my shop and I will leave that in the description below. And I'm gonna show you now what we can, how you can use these. can use these and I apologize I don't have no bigger paper clips I've used them all I gotta pick some more up so you could put these on a paper clip to hang on the outside of your book so let's say this is your journal and you can leave it set there and it can hang out like this Or, we can put it on a tag. You can put it on a tassel. Let me see where. I gotta find. I'll open my jump ring up and you can put it on a tassel. Oh, let's see if we can get this in here. And we're just going to pretend like this one is blue. Oh, I'm going, I went through the whole... Uh... <laughs> oh, boy. 
well. That didn't work very good, did it? So we're going to wrap it. Yeah. Finally. And you're gonna put your pin in. And then you're gonna cool it. Oh my goodness. Hold on, ladies. I'm pulling it towards you. I know you can't see it. And there you go. <laughs> I finally got it. We're just going to pretend that it's blue to go with this tag. So, I mean, you can use them in all different kinds of ways. So, like I said, there's ones that are made, and I have ones that are the kits, and I'll leave that information below. And you ladies have a good day. It's, I'm in southern Michigan, so today it is very gloomy and raining, and it's just one of those days where you either want to craft or cuddle up on the couch and watch a good movie or read a book. So enjoy, everybody. Thanks for stopping by.